हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल अगेन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व अप्रैल 2019 पेपर टू ऑफ प्राइमरी चेक पॉइंट सो इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी कवर्ड क्वेश्चन वन टू सिक्सटीन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डू द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चंस बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई वुड लाइक यू guys to request please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends so let's start question 17 some children go on a bike ride the table shows the distances they cycle so these are the names of the children and this is the distance write the name of each each child in correct place one has been done for you so we see this we have distance cycled how much distance ye they covered starting from the longest to shortest so we need to compare actually this the distance here uh, so you can see we they all are 5 km plus something so this is 5.63 5.36 5.06 this can be written as 5.30 kilometers so if you see uh, the longest distance distance covered is safia it's here this one number 1 5.63 kilometers after this we will have uh, you can say this is uh, 5.36 so this 63 after 63 it will be 36 this will be on number 2 then number 3 5.30 and the last one will be 5.60 but we have to write down the names of the students here so second one is aiko here and third one is hasan we can write down hasan here and the last one we have rajiv so that was easy question now number 18 here are some statements you can see these statements here write the word true or false next to each statements so we are looking here uh, for uh, the statements there are 188 hours in a week so 188 hours in a week yeah, so let's see is it true or false so you can see we have one week there are uh, seven uh, we are talking about hours sorry uh, one week there are seven days so seven days times 24 hours so let's see how much is that we can use calculator as this is calculator paper so 24 times 7 So it is hundred and sixty eight, but he is saying hundred and eighty eight. So which is a false statement. So again, I am repeating one hour uh, hours in a week. We need to calculate hours in a week. There are seven days in a week, seven days. So in each day there are twenty four hours. So you just multiply twenty four by seven. So which comes out to be hundred and sixty eight. So this is a false statement. now next there are 900 seconds in 15 minutes so that means we need to convert minutes to seconds so we will multiply 15 times 60 15 times 60 it is 900 so it should be 900 so that's correct so this statement is true now For, uh, there are seven hundred and forty-four hours in May. Now we need to calculate this May. May, how many days are there in uh, month May? There are thirty-one days. Okay, so in one day there are twenty-four hours. So thirty-one times twenty-four. Let's see how much is that. Uh, it is thirty-one. Sorry, thirty-one times twenty-four. It is seven hundred and forty-four. So seven hundred and forty-four. That means we are given this statement that is correct. So this is true. Uh, now 
there are 578 months in 49 years so now we need to calculate months so uh, in one year there are 12 months so 578 months uh, we need to check sorry we need to check so 49 times 12 so 49 times 12 it is 588 but we are given 578 so this is a false statement so that's it for this question question number 19 here is a picture of a fair six sided dice it has numbers 1 to 6 on it so that means on the dice we have numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 these are the numbers on the dice so the dice is thrown draw the lines to show how likely these outcomes are so we need to see the likelihood of here and the outcomes here so we'll go one by one uh, so the first one uh, outcome 8 is one or more one or more so you can see we have the numbers between 1 and 6 all the numbers are one or more so this is very certain event so we will go we will join this to certain here okay now it is less than 5 so it is less than 5 so we have the numbers less than 5 starting from here all these numbers are less than 5 from here uh, no it's not doesn't say 5 so less than 5 we have 4 3 2 and 1 so that is also like likely so we have the chances so we can go for the likely uh, so next we have it has factors of 2 factors of 2 uh, we can see what are the factors of 2 here factors of 2 are like it is factors of let me just write down here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so factors of 2 1 is factor of 2 2 is factor of 2 6 is factor of 2 so how many we have 1 2 and 3 so out of 6 we have 3 chances of getting factor so that means we have even chances out of 6 3 and 3 so even chances it is a square number so uh, out of this if we see out of 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 we have only one square number uh, that means we have only one squared is one there is no other number uh, sorry there is one more uh, there is four four is also a square number it can be written as two square so we have two chances of this so that means we have less chances so it is not impossible but we have the chances so it is unlikely so we are going to match it here right okay now question number 20 so part a we have what is the largest multiple of both 4 and 5 that is less than 50 so we need multiple of both 4 and 5 so we will write down here we can write down here multiples of multiples of 4 they are 4 8 just continue adding 4 12 16 20 24 28 32 36 then 40 44 48 52 so we but we need less than 50 so we can stop here then multiples of 5 it is 5 10 15 then 20 25 30 35 40 just keep on adding 5 5 but we need less than 5 so we'll stop here uh, so now what is the largest multiple both of 4 and 5 so we can start from here uh, which is the which is in both uh, the largest so if we look around here if you go so we can see we have 40 here we have 40 here which is common in both but we do not have any other number greater than that so our answer will be 40 right now what is the smallest multiple of both 3 and 
4 that is greater than 50. So that means we need multiples of 3 and 4 but greater than 50. So multiples of, uh, let me write down first 3. I will start like 3 times 10 is 30. Uh, 3 times uh, uh, let's say 15 it is 45 because we need greater than 50 so I can start from 45 then we have 48 51 keep adding 3 here 54 57 60 63 66 and so on now multiples of 4 so uh, we need greater than 50 so if i take 12 times 4 it is 48 so yeah then we will get more of that 48 plus 4 52 56 60 64 and so on so the smallest he said the smallest multiple greater than 50 so greater than 50 if you look around here uh, we will go this is this year 60 so our final answer is going to be 60. I hope you understood this but even if there is anything you can let me know in comment section. I will try to explain it again. Okay so question 21. Emma sleeps for 8 hours. What fraction of a day does he sleep for? Write your answer in simplest form. Okay so we need the fraction of the given hours to the day okay so that is the fraction that we need so what fraction we will have here the fraction is we are given eight hours he sleeps for eight hours out of like a day a day has 24 hours okay so 24 hours so now uh, divide it by eight yeah we can divide by eight so it is one over three that is the simplest form so 1 over 3 is the final answer number 22 here is a test uh, sorry here is a uh, table of test results it shows Mia's test score out of 100 in each subject so you can see the score here in which subject her median in which subject is her median score we need to look for the median score uh, so how do you find out median actually so we need to rearrange them so the smallest number here it is 55 uh, then we have 57 increasing order I'm writing in increasing order then 63 uh, then 75 and then we have 90 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so median number we need to find out the middle number so middle number is 63 and 63 it is writing so we will answer it as writing the subject in writing is her median score okay now what is her mean score so you know now how to find out mean mean is sum of scores divided by number of scores okay sum is we need to add them 90 plus 63 plus 55 plus 75 plus divided by uh, they are 5 so let's add them together so it is 90 plus 63 plus 55 plus 75 plus 57 340 divided by 5 so it is 68 so our final answer is 68 that's it for this Okay, so number 23. Angelic buys a box of 50 oranges. 3 of 10 of the oranges are damaged. How many oranges are damaged? So we are given that 3 by 10th of 50 oranges were damaged. So we need to find out of the number of damaged oranges. 
it is 3 over 10 of 50. So that means 3 over 10 times 50. So you can do directly from calculator 3 times 50. Then divided by 10. 15. Right. So we have 15 oranges. Right. Now number 24. Write a different whole number in each box to make the calculation correct. So we need answer here 370 plus 37. It is 407. So we need the numbers here that divide this one. So if you see we have like here uh, we need the multiplication of two digit number uh, with we are not given two digit number so we can see whatever it is 407 so we, our answer should be 7 so 7 can be got like only if you multiply 1 and 7 so then we can figure it out like let's say if I take 11 times 17 it is 187 so it's not working so maybe then I can take 21 times um, 27 so it is exceeding so that means we can take here, let's say I am taking here, uh, let me try with the 3, if I take here 3, 31 times, if I take uh, 27, it's again exceeding, so that means I have to change this number here, so let's say we are taking here 11, 11 times. Uh, let's say 17 if we take 1 here 187 but we need more uh, times let's say it is 27 again it is less so maybe 11 times uh, 37 yeah it worked so we have 11 times 37 so there is no particular method for that you need to use some trials for that so 37 per times 11. Okay. Now let's move to next question. Number 25. Uh, 30,000 people visit a museum. 30% are women. 25% are men. And rest are children. How many children? We need to find out the number of children. So we have how many women? Women are 30% of uh, 30,000. Okay, so if you calculate these two zeros are gone, 3 times 3 is 9, it's 9000, you can even use calculator. Uh, so number of men, it is 25%, that means 20 over 100 times 30,000, two zeros are gone, 12 times this is 7500, zero, zero. so this is the total number of men and women, if you add them together, so we have here, uh, this one 16,500 this is number of men and women but we need the number of children so number of children is we had total number of people was 30,000 minus 116,000 I mean 16,500 so can subtract 30,000 minus <coughs> 16,500 13,500 so final answer is 13,500 right so just go step by step you will reach to the destination okay so question number 26 a sheet of stamps has 18 rows. You can see 18 rows are here. Then 24 stamps in each row. In every row there are 24 uh, stamps. The stamps cost 55 cents each. What is the value of the whole sheet of the stamps? So for that we need to know how many uh, stamps are there. So total number of stamps. Total number of stamps are... 24 times 18 so if you multiply you get here 432 stamps 
right uh, so now we need the total cost so total cost of the sheet because one stamp this is this is given like 55 cents each so 432 times 55 so if you multiply this 432 times 55 it is 23760 cents okay so if we need this in in, in uh, dollars so we can divide it by 100 so this is 237.60 so that is dollar 237.60 Let's move to next question. Okay, so number 27. Olivier is thinking of two-digit number. When I divide my number uh, by 8, the remainder is 5. What is the largest two-digit number Olivier could be thinking of? This is, this is a bit tricky question. Uh, so, we have a number that we divide by 8. So, uh, we need two-digit number. So, that means number less than hundred hundred ninety nine ninety eight like any number uh, below hundred so if I remember just like eight times ten so I'm getting here 80 multiple of 80 so remainder is five he said remainder is five mm, and so if I add five so that means I need remainder five so 85 if you divide 85 by sorry if you divide 80 no 85 divided by eight so you get 10 point something which is not working here um, so we can have 85 so if we divide 80 5 you see 85 divided by 5 so 5 times 7 so it is I'm sorry we need to divide it by 8 8 so your remainder is 5 so we have remainder 5 but this number we need the largest number so after that so let's see what else we have mm, so if we take this uh, next 80 times 11 it is 88 so but we need remainder 5 so 88 is divisible so plus 5 it is 93 so if we are taking again next number 12 times 8 so it is 96 but it is not giving us remainder so if you add 5 uh, it will become 111 which become a three digit number so we have here num largest number 93 so when you divide larger uh, this 93 by uh, 8 you will get remainder of 5 okay now number 28 here is a part of a number square so you can see a number square here you have all the numbers around yourself is thinking of a prime number between 31 and 70 we are given all the numbers from 31 to 70 it is one less than multiple of 10 so this number is one less than multiple of 10 so if uh, what is yourself's prime number so there are many prime numbers actually here but we are specially looking for a number which is one less than multiples of 10 so we have not to look all around the numbers we are just looking for the multiples of 10 so multiple of 10 is this one here that they will end with zero this here this and this now he said one less than so we will subtract one one less than this is here it is 39 so we have 49 59 69 now out of these we have these numbers here uh, 39 then 49 59 and 69 so we are looking for now a prime number so we need to see which one is prime number so this is not because it is divisible by 3 this is 7 times 7 uh, this is also divisible by uh, no this is not divisible uh, 6 plus 9 this is also divisible by 3 so we are left with only 59 so 59 is the prime number which is 1 less than multiple of 10 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन दिस इज सो इंटरेस्टिंग यू कैन सी सम इंटरेस्टिंग शेप्स हियर हियर इज अ नेटवर्क ऑफ शेप्स राइट सो यू कैन सी डिफरेंट शेप्स हियर ड्रॉ अ पाथ यू नीड टू ड्रॉ अ पाथ फ्रॉम ए टू बी सो हियर इज अवर पॉइंट ए एंड हियर इट इज बी हाउ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द पाथ वी आर गिवन द गाइडलाइंस हियर and so through the network following the repeating rule so you see the arrow we need to follow the arrow kite trapezium parallelogram kite okay so let's see let's start here uh, first we have kite we are starting from here after that it is trapezium so this is trapezium then after trapezium we have parallelogram parallelogram is here and after parallelogram we have kite so move to kite then after kite again we have trapezium parallelogram so this is trapezium this is parallelogram then we have kite after kite again we need to have uh after kite it is trapezium this is trapezium so then we need to have parallelogram and again we should have a kite then we reach it to b so this is how we are going to draw this path following the shapes order given to us the important instruction was do not move diagonally so we have to go across these lines we cannot go this way that's what it means diagonally i hope you understood so please if you like the video please share it with your friends and press the like button and also subscribe to my channel so let's move to next question oh again we have an interesting diagram here uh, a farmer is building a fence so we have a fence here you can see the fence imposed are always the same distance apart so they are at the same distance here so the distance between the first post and the third post from first to third it is 3 meters okay so that means this distance is 3 3 okay what is the distance between the first and the fourth post so we need to between first to fourth post okay so uh, like from the first this is the first pole and then this is second this is third and this is fourth so we need a distance from here to up to this so each post has uh, like distance from first to third first to third it is 3 uh, meters okay and this is half of that so that means this will be 1.5 so total distance will be 3 plus 1.5 that is 4.5 so final answer will be 4.5 meters so that's it that's the end of this paper so i hope you understood all the question but even then if there is anything you can let me know i will try to explain it again so thanks for watching please share subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much